Cell Pack, your one stop shopping for rubber and plastic materials. Today we'll be making a brush on mold with urethane rubber. Again, using a chip brush and scissors. We will mount it on a plate. I am using a Lazy Susie turntable on this larger piece so I can turn it around. The mold release is MR515 silicone spray since urethanes want to stick to all surfaces. Uh, the RU435TH is a one-to-one -one mix urethane 35 shore A flexible rubber. We will mix up equal parts and I will blow off a little bit of the solvent that may be left over from the mold release and then we can begin to apply our urethane rubber to begin the mold making. As you see it will flow out slightly on the surface and it will begin gaining more thickness as the process continues. Urethane rubbers are used for making plaster or cement pieces only. We are now drawing a border around the piece to make our flange. I am just using a flow pen on plastic. The plastic will keep the surface clean after we're finished. Now we will brush out the material into all the surface areas. This material will give you about 15-20 minutes before it gets very, very heavy. And we can think about mixing up the second coat to be applied at a half hour point. As you can see, this material is low viscosity, but with a little body. The cut chip brush does a good job in getting it all into the surface areas and a cut chip brush will also take and not leave a lot of hairs that get hung up. RU435TH is a overnight cure urethane rubber and we could also take and blow a little air from a hair dryer or air source of light blowing capability to relieve any bubbles you may see on the surface. I am brushing back and forth also trying to relieve bubbles that may be clinging underneath the surface and also getting the equal distribution of the material all over the surface. Blow a little air, and then we can prepare this to sit and wait for the second layer to be applied. Today we will also use a plaster for a backup. Again, the second coat is mixed up. And then you can let it sit for five minutes or pour it right out onto the surface and begin doing your second coat. We want to build up at least a quarter to three eighths of an inch on the mold surface. As you see, the two materials are different colors, and as we mixed them together, it came out to a nice low green color. This also shows you that it's mixed properly. Only about 60 seconds is required to mix these two materials together.
The second coat, if you allowed it to thicken a little bit, can go on a little thicker. Again, I go back in with a chip brush, moving the material around from side to side, edge to edge. Your edges will probably need a little bit more working when the material becomes thicker as they flow off those edges quicker. See, we are reaching up into the mass and bringing it down to the edge, the sides, to get a little bit better distribution. You can see the material is thickening over a short period of time. A little bit more air, we can press out any bubbles and prepare for the third coat. Apply the material around your surface. I am now working more towards the edges of the mold, which re require a little bit thicker application on there. Then start spreading it around. You can see that the thickness of this mold is building up. You could tape an edge, or you can take and just scrape a tongue depressor down, creating your final edge. The next day, we can take it off or begin to make your mother mold. And once the mother mold is created, we can pour our pieces. Thank you very much for seeing us today at Silpak for this urethane mold making process. <laughs>